So here begins episode four, I guess it would be, of the wheelchair video. And so it's been like a year, and it's really come along. We actually had, we watched the old video, and wow, I guess back then you were still messing around with the, the blue motors. I was. Yeah. Now you have better motors. These look like... Um, like the bicycle we, uh, hub motors, and they're also one-sided. Yep. Where did so, you get these? Okay, so these are single shaft, thousand watt, forty-eight volt motors. Need a one, wheelie bar for that much power. Side. It does have wheelie bars; they're just not attached. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we got some beastly motors on this, and we got powering it a forty-eight volt lithium. Iron phosphate, a LIFO battery. Oh, nice. Life, LIFO yeah. is a lot safer. Yeah, and it, you get a lot more charge cycles. Out. Oh, so you switched to 48 volts, too. Yeah, 48 volt, 10 amp hour. That would be a lot better because before, you'd have to have thicker wiring for I 24 mean, the volts. The battery size for its weight and the power it punches, reasonable <laughs> size. That's a 10-pound battery for 48 volts. That's light. So what you're looking at now is the... Um, circuitry that has been made. yeah and, and 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 that is really cool how so this was the old battery that i made that's kind of questionable but it's still something to work off of yeah. but then you got this piece of metal the right size to yeah. where it actually goes upside down in the bottom still mm -hmm. so instead of uh have you actually put it in the bottom yet yeah yeah it fits in there no i was mean with all the stuff yeah. on it yeah, everything okay. has gone in, everything's to measurement, and uh, it's pretty much ready to roll. It's still in prototype phase. Yeah, but, I guess um, that goes would go up there then. Yeah. And oh, you were saying you had an issue with like the resistor on the contact or whatever, and you got a new one? Yeah, so a little issue with the uh, contactor, um, but got a new one. It was a little overheating because it couldn't handle the continuous current. So. Yeah. What we're doing now is we're going to uh, run a uh, contactor that can handle the continuous current um, of it, and it's ready to ready to roll. I've already tested it and everything. So this is a Robotech HBL 2360, 48 volt, 75 max, 75 amp max, 50 amp continuous, 60 volt. Oh wow! So it's so it's actually like a variable voltage one. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm only used to doing like the super cheap ones. Then this is a 48 volt to 12 volt converter inverter. or inverter. Yeah. yeah. This goes. This is from a golf cart. I actually have one of these. I was going to be putting on my electric bicycle. Oh yeah. So there's the contactor, and I believe the issue is just the little resistor that's across mm -hmm. it. So we, I could take that off if you wanted. To uh, try it's okay, it. but um, oh, you have the other I, contactor coming. Yeah, in the, I got the other contactor coming. And uh, I increased the size of the resistor. That'd to, be good. Uh, what did I change it to? I think What's it's... this? That's a uh, diode. Oh, okay. And this is a uh, circuit breaker. Yeah, here. circuit breaker. It's, um... Which is very nice for testing purposes. It's yeah, a bulky... Yeah, 120 one. amp one. Yeah, it's a bulky re um, circuit breaker for this, but it's great for prototyping and testing because you can sh hit it and shut the system down right away. So, they sell? Oh, I should look into that and get one for my electric bicycle. Yeah. Because up yeah. until now, I'm just using automotive fuses, and it's kind of Amazon. infuriating. Amazon, they're cheap. Yeah. I Sometimes I just don't think about stuff, you know? Yeah. This, I'm, I'm, I still can't get over these wheels, though. These wheels are so cool. Yeah. Did, uh, I, I kind of... You said where they were from, right? No, these came from uh, Hong Kong. I think. Oh, Leaf Bike, Leaf Bike. Okay, because I know, I know my viewers are Everything just going to... Everything comes from there, yeah. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I was... Oh, out of focus. Oh, they were a focus, okay. So, yeah. Leaf Bike, you said? Leaf Bike, yeah. Okay. It's the, uh... I'll, uh, if you could do me a favor and text me that, because I know that I'll get a million fucking comments about what the fuck that is, so I can put that in the yeah. comment section or something like that. So, yeah, they're single shaft motors, although you got to... When I received them, I received a damaged hub, and the wire w wires were broken where it comes out of the shaft. So I had to contact them, and they sent me a new, um, the inside, the magnet, magnet and everything. What happened was, you got to open this baby up and take it out, and those magnets are really strong. So anyways, so I had to take it to a mechanic shop, 
and uh, I had to get them to help me open it up and separate it. Are these just 25 and uh, 26 inch uh, bicycle tires? Yeah, they're 26 inch oh, nice. uh, rims. For my um, for my electric bicycle, I asked people what tires I should get, and people keep recommending this one company, uh, Schwalbe. And they make some like balloon tires or something like that. These are the, um, balloon tires could probably work on these. These are like these got some kind of like a Kevlar type of uh, material. In them oh, nice. To be puncture resistant. Well, then that's pretty good. I, I think that's pretty similar to what those other when, when ones are. Because when I received are. this, I just received the rims and the hubs. I went, I went down and. Had, oh, oh, so so you got these yourself, the tires. Yeah, the tires and stuff. I had to go and um, I went down to Trailhead Cycleries and they. Um, mounted it up and everything okay because I, I was thinking this was just something that came with it because because yeah. usually sometimes like my electric hub motors for my bicycles come with the tire yeah. but they're like the cheapest one they can possibly get you know yeah. no these aren't cheap these yeah are really good oh nice then, then if you flip it up here, whoa and should i hold it up or yeah you can see how i i whoa. don't let it yeah you yeah i'm holding down it down here these uh brackets are custom made to uh, mount up the um, wheels so okay so the I wheels don't pop off do they no not, not yeah, on this yeah. chair that's the lightweight one. Oh, i was saying this was the lightweight for no, some reason no this is i'm the, an idiot i know it's lightweight for uh, a lot of electric chairs yeah it's yeah probably 100 pounds um this is the one that you said you'd had for like 15 years or so right yeah but i can tell it's old just from whoa it's old, but even for its age, it's a very good chair. It's made of carbon fiber and uh, titanium. Well, the thing is, I can tell just from that sticker, it's the, a very 90s, like, yeah. uh, tur uh, turquoise greenish blue or whatever and purple. Yeah. That is so 90s. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean it sounds What's stereotypical. It say? Nitro? It's the yeah, nitro. it says nitro. Yeah. I call it the beast, but uh, I think nitro is pretty cool. Yeah. But, uh, the beast. I don't mean to fall that on. That is so this cool. This is a chair actually made from Everston and Jennings. They don't make uh, rigid chairs anymore. They, they're the largest wheelchair manufacturer, Everston, Everston and Jennings. Mm -hmm. You know, they deal the the grandpa and grandma folding accordion chairs. Oh, yeah. And you see them everywhere. Airports, you see them in the uh, uh, grocery store, people uh, getting them out of their cars and stuff. But... Nowadays, of course, you're starting to see more electric chairs and stuff. So, so is there any testing capability, like just to? Not right now because okay. I don't have that uh, contactor being um, delivered from the manufacturer. So that's still really cool. I I think you've done really great, and like, <laughs> fuck, it's been like almost a year now. Yeah. I can't believe it. And I'll probably be coming back in May or so. Yeah. And well, I'll, I'll I'll definitely I like honestly if. If you need a lot of help with anything, I can see about making my vacation longer. Okay. And maybe we could go like the maker space or whatever it was. Cause, oh, the uh, tech shop. Yeah, tech shop. Yeah. <laughs> whatever it's called. Same thing. Same thing. A, a lot of this stuff from out here is kind of fading away in my head as yeah. Illinois stuff's going back. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's the same width as my art. Actually, I think it's the same width as this chair. So if yeah, you yeah. butt it up here and want me to back it up and we'll see. It's not much wider than the current chair that I'm in. No, it looks pretty good. It's wheel to wheel, right? Uh, yeah, maybe it's like, I'd say an inch wider. Yeah. But really, it's not that much. Here, I'm going to get far away and zoom in. So that's it zoomed in, so it's less of a perspective view. And I would say, really, the wheels themselves, the tires, are perfectly fine. But there is a little bit that pokes out, like just like I don't know, half an inch. Yeah. But that is really good. It's just the hubs, that, the outer part of the mm -hmm. hubs. Yeah, just like the, this little bit right here, kind of sticks off, sticks Which, off. With a little more yeah, width, it'll give you more stability. So yeah, yeah. Good. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I think Professor X has done a really good job, and I'm still pushing him. He should make his own YouTube channel. Just well, as long as you find a good way to film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I could, I could show you the three the joystick enclosure that I'm going to 3D print. Oh, oh uh, yeah, you got a, you're getting yeah. a 3D printer. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, I'm going to print it. And, uh, that should well, help I'll, a lot. I'll show you the drawing of it. I'll show you guys the drawing of it. Okay. All right, so this is the joystick enclosure. So 
this part will stick into the armrest of the chair. Okay. And then uh, the joystick will be right here. Toggle switches right here. And uh, yeah, so I'll 3D print that baby. This underside of the, the top. Are you keeping in mind where like mount your like a uh, key fob thing for your van? Um, not, I mean, yeah, I can put it right here on top if I want. Yeah. Just right up here. Um, or I guess, do you have different ones for different, your two cars, right? So. I, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. So, yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. There's your update. Yeah. Be sure to leave a comment because I think, if, I, I think input about this is really cool because it's just a really cool project. It's just kind of cool not to have to do something myself. I just kind of check up every so often. Check up. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.